Hey guys, Zota here. Welcome back to another episode of Terraria playthrough. Uh, today, my plan is to do uh, some building. Um, I want to get some of the these houses underway, start building them, and um, get in the village looking more like a village rather than a bunch of peasants and little shacks. So yeah, so we're gonna build <clears throat> some houses. Um, I know that Terraria 1.4 is going to be released soon, and in that update, there will be um, there will be NPCs uh, happiness level, and so it depends on where the NPCs are living and how you're interacting with them affects their happiness level. So I know, for example, like Tatiana will probably want to be in the jungle biome, so. I probably won't build her house right now. I'll wait till that update comes out and then build it in the jungle. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure Andrew's house will stick around here. And, um, and maybe some of the other guys. I believe Tabnet will want to be in the desert. But Seymour will probably want to stick around as well. So I'll probably build his house. Uh, probably uh, also build Dolgrim's house. Um, and also build that cavern that I was talking about building underneath my bridge so that in case I fall under there that I can easily escape. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, now this, I mean, again, this is just another temporary house, but, um, it's just to get them out of my house. <laughs> it's there. Now I have Luigi moving into that house. So for this, I was kind of trying to think of what to do. I thought it would be kind of boring if I just had a straight hold down. So I decided to make a gradual slope here. And then build the house. Kind of like at the entrance of the village. So yeah, right now I'm just digging that hole that... I'm going to eventually make a cavern into the lake that the bridge goes over. I did on some TNT, hoping that it would make an organic looking cave, uh, which, not really, but in the end I made it look organic, so I think it helped a little bit. So I built this house uh, with the intention of that it would be a patchwork kind of house and um kind of like i don't know no one really whoever lives here doesn't really care about it um it's kind of sad because it's like the first house you see coming into the town but um yeah it's kind of like it was once like the outpost or the the edge of this of the town and <clears throat> it's probably like the oldest building in the town and um, so, yeah, I decided to make it look like it's run down, kind of overgrown, and don't, whoever lives here, like I said, doesn't really care about it. So I'm thinking about uh, putting a bed here, because I think I'll make it an NPC house, and then putting Joey in this house, because it's right beside the water. And, or Jay, not Joey, Jay. <laughs> and, because um, Jay kind of seems like the guy that just doesn't care really he just cares about fishing and if he comes down here you can fish right here which he would be probably happy about yeah speaking of which probably actually make this more 
able to fish in by um, digging this down. gonna fill in this a little bit more so yeah I'll finish that in a second
I wasn't a huge fan of the wooden walls that I had in Seymour's house originally. So I came back and I just put in some gray brick and threw in a window and made it look a little bit nicer. touches to this place up above in the attic I'm gonna add some potions so it makes it look like that he just stores some of his goods up there So, this is the Merchant Seymour's house. I uh, made it look, it still looks small, which is kind of what I want. I don't want to make a big house like mine is. But, um, yeah, so it kind of, kind of looks like it could be a merchant's house with these extra crates of him, some of his extra goods. And then just out front of his place, it made like a little shack, kind of like where he sells all his goods kind of thing with some item frames back there with like a scythe and a potion bottle and then some some potion bottles that are just painted to make them look like they're potions so yeah and that's that is Seymour's house and maybe on to the next we will see so I know have to make Andrew's house eventually so I decided to bite the bullet and just make it right away so I don't have to keep thinking about it so yep I'm gonna work on Andrew's house that's the plan right now right now just putting in the foundation uh, it usually look makes a house a house build look a lot better when it has like stone foundation um, it's kind of, I did a false foundation for, uh, for, uh, Seymour's house here. Um, I'm still not sure how I feel about it. it. Looks nice. I might eventually change it, uh, but right now, I think I'll just leave it like that. Um, but I'm just gonna see, just these two different types of foundations and see how, what one I like best. But yeah, so that's the plan.
invincible. Andrew's house complete. I decided to give Andrew a bathtub seeing as he stands all the flippin' day long doing absolutely nothing useful. So made him this bathtub in hopes that he would do something good to me. But I don't think he will. Anyway I think that's where I'm going to end it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Please don't forget to like this video. And have a good day. Peace.